Hey, hello there. This is a tutorial for the curve tangent transfer. As you can see, we have here a 3D model of a face. Uh, this model was created by uh, Yaro Pro. He has some amazing scans, so shout out to him. You can download them just for free and they're really high quality. So uh, I use this one for my project to showcase how it works. So if we go back here, we can see that it looks like it's painted. And you see all these little brush strokes that are on the face. Uh, this is a geometry node, as you can see here. When we turn it off, we have his face. If we turn it on, you see all the brush strokes. And that's not all, because you can go into a Bezier curve and then draw on the model. And with that, uh, all the brush strokes will follow this curve. So as you can see here, I already set some curves already. Turn this off. So the brush strokes will go around the eyes, follow the nose, follow the ears, and also the shoulders. As you can see here, you get really nice brush topology. So we can really shape as we want the brush strokes to go. And maybe make your own uh, Van Gogh painting like this. Even on a 2D plane, you can do it as well. So if we go into how this works, um, you have here the nodes, it's all connected to the parameters. You can set the brush size in the X direction, in the Y direction, so I become wider. Uh, you have a minimal distance. So it just has a few brush strokes. You can set the density of the brush strokes give it a lot less i need to scale this down a lot maybe go a thousand can you see a lot less you can also keep it uh, quite high to 3000 and then scale it back with a factor you can see what happens even animate it this way you also have a seed you can animate the seed so it looks like it's being brushed all the time and we have here a minimal and maximum minimum and maximum brush size so we can change uh, how big you want the max to be and how small you want the smallest ones to be to have some variation in there so this is how it works you can see here the node setup so you can build it yourself this is the the brush panel actually we get the uvs we store them in a brush uv uh, then we transform them a little bit and then uh, we set the material, the brush material, and that goes into the tangent transfer node. And here uh, comes the mesh, which is the base mesh of the face you see here. Uh, the instance is the brushes. Um, here we can set the Bezier curve, which is here. Uh, and then you can have all the parameters. You can add more if you want to. If you add your own nodes here, uh, this is setting the color. So you have the image here um, that is being processed for all the brush strokes to know which color they need to have. And here we get a random position for all the brushes because you see all the brushes have a little texture, a little brush texture. So they all are a little bit different. So these are the nodes. And this one you can use also on, uh, in your own projects if you want to transfer like the Bezier curve tangent uh, and make something follow these uh, curves. So also you see here that we have a uh, brush material and that we can see in the shading. We have the brush shader and we can scale the texture you see that it gets a bit less texture. It's just uh, like a randomness in every brush stroke. Brush stroke. We have a stretch, so you can stretch a little bit all the the texture. As you can see, if we zoom in here, you see that the brush stroke has a little bit of texture. If I scale it down or up, it gets like very stretched. Now we have a brush roughness value. As you can see that the edges get rougher and less rough. If I scale it down and up, 
we have a roughness scale so we can also make it really uh, rough edges put it back to 40 and then we have the hue saturation value of the model that we can change a little bit the colors saturation if we want to make it really flat unsaturated and the value of the colors we can also change in this node and we have a factor that is for the texture that you can give uh, the brushes. I have it on 0.2. When I set it to zero, it has no texture. 0.2, it has a little bit of texture. So this way, we have a little bit more control over what the brush looks like. So if you want to use this in your own project, you can just append the geometry nodes. So I downloaded this uh, shoe here. I got it from Sketchfab was made by uh, Lassie Kaukonen. It's the free model. Uh, I use it here. If you import it, you get uh, the shading. Here you have the material. You need that for the geometry nodes. So if we go here and then we go to File, Append. We go to the uh, RD Curve Tangent Transfer and we go to No Tree and then use the GN Curve Tangent Transfer. Then we open it, append. We get this face curve that you see here, the Bezier, Bezier curve. And then we go into modifiers, geometry nodes, and then we select the GN Curve Tangent Transfer. And the moment we do that, it fills our shoe with all the brush strokes, as you can see. Maybe this is a little bit too small. I scale it down by half. As you can see, we have a little bit less. So you see the brush strokes a little bit better. Now, what we have to do is we have to pick the shoe JPEG. So it's the texture that is on the shoe. Then it takes the color, but it's not correct yet. Because here, the UV name, we have UV map. But if we go into the, not the normals, but the UV map, we see the UV map is called ST0. So we have to use that name, ST0. And then it translates it correctly. So now you see that you have all the brush strokes on the shoe. And now we have Bezier curve, but I'm not sure if it's this one. Let's just delete it. Let's select this one. Let me uh, do it the other way around. If we just say add curve Bezier, then we see it over oh, here. It is. We delete it, delete the vertices, and then if we take the draw tool and click surface, now we can work on the surface. So if I draw here, you can see that it's drawn on the model. So if we go into object, and then we pick that curve that we just made. You see that it follows the brushes. The, the brush strokes follow the curve. If we go into the curve and we draw, we see that we can determine all the lines. If we go into color mode, we can see it a little bit better. We can follow this line, follow this line on the side. Maybe you want to have a box around here line so now i have a lot of control over what the brush strokes do on the model maybe also for the laces we want to align them and then if we go here you see really well what the flow is of all these brush strokes so that is how you set it up also uh, i forgot to add this par parameter uh, in the tutorial previous but now it's in so if you import the gn curve tangent transfer you will have these par parameters to work with so hope you enjoy the tool